it's about the
Ciao.
hello, 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 everybody. And how are we doing on this great Tuesday? Hopefully we're doing good. I'm doing great. No, I'm serious. I'm actually doing pretty well for today. Um, not too many problems and everything. Getting stuff ironed out and whatnot. Um, so... We got some more uh, baseball for you today, and uh, we got the, like, like the description says, we got a three-game series against the Astros, so let's go ahead and get into this, and uh, be kind and respectful to others, and most of all, be kind and respectful to yourself. You're the number one person in this world. Nobody matters more than you do. Don't give up. Keep on pushing. That's all we can do. Now let's get into the action. Let's get let's get some wins today. Let's get some dubs. Let's get these dubs. I'm pretty sure Steel isn't actually on the mound. Oh, maybe he is. Or no, he's not. Lizardo's still coming in. Just running with it. Let's go. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Houston Astros. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And Singy, the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Alex Kirilov leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks. He'll barrel up the baseball. He'll hit the ball in the gaps. He'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now. And he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Just about to get underway. And pitching in this game, Logan Webb. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. And the batter will be the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. Mateo. The wind of the pitch. That one misses. And that's how this series begins. Off the mark there, and it's two and one. Chris Logan Webb, a Northern California guy, but he grew up a fan of the Oakland A's. He grew up going to both teams' games, Giants and A's, but his dad was an Oakland fan, so he loved the Tim Hudson, Bobby Crosby, Stephen Vogt teams with the Oakland A's. 3-2 now. Well, I can relate being from the Bay Area. I tell you what, warmer games in Oakland than they were in San Francisco, and that can help you become an A's fan a lot faster ah. because it gets awfully chilly in San Fran. Got him looking. Down on strikes. Damn it. Into it. Stewart. Stewart Fairchild. Still kind of getting in into it. First stream of the week. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One strike. But we'll get going. Now the 01. And there's a foul ball. The 02. Next offering is outside. He goes down looking. God damn it. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, 
Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morell. There's a swing. Let's go, baby. Let's back. And let's go, Morell. The two-run shot. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's two nothing. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And now here sinker is Sinker right down the middle, middle. Damn near automatic for fucking Morrell. We have a guy after Tommy John surgery changed his arm slot a little bit. He ditched that four-seam fastball, went with the sinker, and he's turned into a ground ball machine. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. No Looked off balance right. that time. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Swing and a bouncer. Gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Cubs baseball on the show Chicago. That's the way to do it. Get out to a 2 nothing lead right away. We got we got the lefties coming up. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And on the mound now, Jesus The man that Lizardo. has the best See, ERA in, in the warrior, big yeah. leagues. I definitely say on so. This game. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so but. used to just... You know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them, but this guy seems to thrive in adversity and being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Lewis Early stands in now and watches strike one. And it's even one up. One ball, one strike. And another Go ball. ball. Not Three close ball. with that one. Oh, damn Three it. balls and a strike. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. 3 2 now. This one high in the air to left center. Calls it in, and there's one away. Now we check out the Astros lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Kevin Newman. Boog, this is one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. I mean, he's such a consistent hitter. You've got to love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see that in this one. The batter now, Kevin Newman. Oh, yeah? There's a strike. Right there it is. I mean, you can't see the name because of the camera, but. Oh, one down. That one fouled off. That, uh, uh, yeah. One second, let me move all let me move this. Let's get something started here. Oh, 
Here's the 0-2. Out to short. Sends it across the first. Two up, two down. Batting third. The second baseman. Cattell. Cattell Marte up to the plate. And that one upstairs. Next pitch is downstairs. 2-0. And, and he deals. Ripped to short. Slings it across. Out number three. Astros are down quietly. They trail it here 2-0. Back here in Houston, here's Donovan Solano. The first baseman, Donovan Solano. Come on, Houston! Webb back to work. Swing yes. and a miss as he was late that time. Ground ball left side oh, and foul ball. The pitch. And there's a ball. The wind and the pitch. The other way, pulls it in for the out. God damn, he was right there. Fuck. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sam Huff. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Hit in the air, right field. Weimer makes the grab for the second out. Batting it. The designated hitter, Jeff. And now here's Jeff McNeil. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Next pitch inside, ball two. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Oh, thank you, Shake. Loss of focus What's up? How you right doing? There. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Jake Myers, the next cup to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. Shit. And he'll two. Struck him out swinging. Slider Sorry, I met your first couple of messages. Three. One left for the Cubs. They're up two nothing. Oh, I'm up, I'm up two nothing. So like, I'm not fucking really necessarily worried. Like, I'm actually doing pretty well today so far. Game one. 
Welcome back. And now go. it's going to be Jamer Candelario. The designated hitter, Jamer. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting fifth. The first baseman, Alex. Here's Alex Kirilov. Leading the AL in batting average. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. In there, and it's 0-1. And downstairs. Strike. 